Good morning and welcome to this morning's uh, uh, morning prayer. It's Wednesday and uh, greetings from Emily Taylor and uh, Pete. We will we'll run through the service much as we've done before using the similar format. Uh, we'll uh, read the passages that are set for today and then we'll have a short time of prayer. We're really glad to uh, that you've joined us this morning and we hope that this time will be a time that encourages you, blesses you and helps you to pray. So let us uh, have a moment of quiet and then we will start. Let us pray. Grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you and also, also with, with you. you. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let, Let us, us rejoice, rejoice and, and be glad, glad in it. For our praise this morning, we're going to, um, we've come across a really lovely uh, um, prayer of praise from uh, a Methodist um, service. And so we will uh, say this responsive responsively <laughs> to each other and to you uh, there is a, a line which is we lift our voices in gratitude and praise so if you feel as we pray through this you want to join us in these words we lift our voices in gratitude, gratitude and, and praise. praise please feel free to join us um, however you're feeling this morning whether you're feeling weary whether you're feeling joyful it's always good to turn our voices to praise God and in praising God, our spirits are lifted. So let us come in praise. Let us offer our praise to God. We, we lift, lift our voices, voices in, in gratitude, gratitude and, and praise. praise. Creator, we adore you. All creation reflects your glory. We, we lift, lift our, our voices in gratitude and praise. You have made women, men, girls and boys in your image. You welcome those who are vulnerable with open arms of compassionate acceptance. We, we lift, lift our voices in gratitude and praise. Redeemer, we adore you, all creation is reconciled to you. We, we lift our voices in gratitude and praise. Where the weak and broken lie bruised and discarded, you challenge the complacent, revealing the truth behind our lies, and invite the wounded to your feast of life. We, we lift our voices in gratitude and praise. Sustainer, we adore you. All creation is inspired by you. We, we lift our voices in gratitude and praise. You breathe life into places of deathly fear. You increase our understanding of things hard to comprehend and draw us into your dance of loving joy. We, we lift our voices in gratitude and praise. God three in one, all creation sings of your great deeds. We, we lift, lift our voices in gratitude and praise. praise. Amen. The uh, psalm today is 62. So if you have your Bibles, it would be really helpful. We're going to um, go through section by section, Psalm 62. My soul finds rest in God alone. It, some of the words will be very familiar. Uh, there have been several um, songs, uh, great Christian hymns that have been set to these words. Um, but we're going to say it today. We're not singing it today. <laughs> so um, we'll lead off. My soul finds rest in God alone. My salvation comes from him. He alone is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I shall never be shaken. How long will you assault a man? 
Would all of you throw him down, this leaning wall, this tottering fence? They fully intend to topple him from his lofty heights. They take delight in lies. With their mouths they bless, but in their hearts they curse. Find rest, O oh my soul, in God alone. My hope comes from him. He alone is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I shall not be shaken. My salvation and my honour depend on God. He is my mighty rock, my refuge. Trust in him at all times, O people. Pour out your hearts to him, for God is our refuge. Lowborn men are but a breath. The highborn are but a lie. If weighed on a balance, they are nothing. Together, they are only a breath. Do not trust in extortion or take pride in stolen goods. Though your riches increase, do not set your heart on them. One thing God has spoken, two things have I heard, that you, O God, are strong and that you, O Lord, are loving. Surely you will reward each person according to what he has done. I, that psalm, uh, we don't know the circumstances that David wrote it. There were times in his life where um, he was um, uh, persecuted or attacked or in great trouble. Um, it wasn't easy for him and clearly he's going through a tough time here. And what, is, um, what the message of the psalm is, who, where is the place you put your trust? Uh, for some people, it can be their status in life, their social position, uh, money, wealth. Uh, but the message of the psalm is that it should be in God, because actually he is our rock. And there's a great contrast there between these other things like social position and money where they are spoken of as very lightweight things that are easily blown away uh, and so repeated throughout is that, that God is the one we can trust and he is um, the faithful God he is spoken of with those two uh, great characteristics at the end um, Sorry, the last, the last verse, that God is strong and that he is loving. And actually in the Hebrew, although I'm not a Hebrew person, apparently the emphasis on the loving is there. So the love part of God and his strength are equal, but actually the love is, is, is the stronger and, uh, and most significant element. Yeah, I, I've always found this a really lovely psalm. Um, there's something about my soul finds rest in God alone. I think a lot of us may be needing some, some rest at the moment and uh, finding rest in God alone. Uh, later on it says uh, God is our refuge. And as Peter said before, uh, God being both strong and loving. And we will continue to think of these themes as we pray. The uh, New Testament reading is from um, the Gospel of Matthew. It's Matthew chapter 6. Just two, just three verses. Uh, chapter 6, verses 16 to 18. And Pete will read those now. When you fast, do not look sombre as the hypocrites do. For they disfigure their faces to show men they are fasting. I tell you the truth. They have received their reward in full. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face, so that it will not be obvious to men that you are fasting, but only to your Father, who is unseen, and your Father who, is, who sees what is done in secret, he will reward you. Thank you, Pete. Um, I know we've been working through uh, the Sermon on the Mount 
And for me, every time I read these verses, um, what challenges me is of the, as the three words, when you fast. Um, I think we all know when you pray, but actually it's it's just as much when you fast. And, and I think, well, in certainly my experience, that hasn't been part of my regular uh, walk with God. But I know for some people it has been. Um, there have been one or two times in our life um, that we have felt that it was right to fast or we've known people who have been fasting. And um, I think the challenge is, is to um, think about it as being part of our rhythm of discipleship. In the Old Testament, um, if you look through, the, um, the people of Israel prayed and fasted at really significant times in their history when they were in a crisis or when there was something very important about to happen. And they naturally both prayed and, and fasted. And I think that's the challenge for me, is to um, remember that fasting is an important thing to do. Um, and, and when there is, particularly if there's a time of significant, um, a significant event or significant decision, that's the time to be fasting. And, and that's for me, is the, the challenge of, that, of this passage. That's a challenge for me. <laughs> challenge for both of us. <laughs> We're working on it and we'll keep working. Um, let's turn to a, a time of, of prayer. As, as I said, we'll, we'll maybe use some words from Psalm 62. Um, and please join us as we pray. Let us pray. My soul finds rest in God alone. Father God, we uh, pray now for uh, many of us who are coming to a time of holiday and of finding rest. Um, after a long period of lockdown, when getting away from it all was not easy, we were stuck inside. Um, maybe a different form of working, different stresses and now uh, people are looking forward to having a break, a physical break. Uh, we pray that people will uh, get rest and also along with a physical rest from work that they will have a spiritual refreshment uh, by coming close to you. So, Father God, we pray for all those uh, going away. In particular, we think of our clergy who are having a well-earned break. And we pray that they would be refreshed too, as uh, we all are. So, Father God, may we find our rest in you. Amen. Amen. We pray also for those people who are um, coming to the ends of school terms, those who are particularly in year six, year 11, year 13, and those who are uh, just reached the end of their university time. Father God, we pray particularly for these young people who've had such strange times and haven't been able to enjoy those normal celebrations and rites of passage as they move to the next stage of life. Lord, I pray for them now. Pray particularly for those of the church family who find themselves in this situation, these situations. Lord, would you give them peace as they face this time of change? Lord, I pray that you would show them that you are good and that you are strong and that you love them very much. And I pray, Lord, that as they make the move to the next stage of uh, education or maybe on out into the working world, Lord, that you would bless them and encourage them. And I pray that they would increasingly know that they can trust you in all things. Amen. Father, we pray for those who 
are not able to get away on holiday because they are isolated um, and shielded uh, or have always been alone. And we pray particularly for those who are in care homes who are not allowed visits from friends and close family. People who are, are bewildered and unable to understand and have really suffered through that um, separation. And we pray for those who are sick and unwell, people known to us and uh, and particularly of course those who are bereaved. In all of this Father may they know your presence and your light and your comfort may we find ways that we can break through and support them through whatever technology or other means that, that are available but wherever we cannot go we ask that your spirit will be there encouraging and supporting in jesus name we pray I've had a phone call um, today from a dear friend who lives in Uganda and she um, was wanted just to, to let me know how much she was praying for us and for our country um, through for all that she's heard about the sort of Covid um, experience and what an amazing thing to think this lady who has materially so little was praying for us. Um, and that's made me want to pray for those communities who are, are much less well protected from, than we are. So let, let's turn our prayers to those communities. Let's continue in, in prayer. Father God, I thank you this morning for our friend Clemency and um, her desire to pray for this country and uh, friends she has in this country. Lord, thank you for her faith. Thank you for her trust in you. Thank you for the example that she is to us. And we do pray for places all over the world where there is little protection from COVID, where the health system is systems are limited and lifestyles make it almost impossible to um, isolate and protect yourself. Lord, I pray that you would uh, protect communities particularly those that are um, materially so poor and um, the risks to them are great. We pray, Lord, that you would um, be in the countries at the moment where the COVID virus is increasing. Pray, Lord, that you would um, help governments to make good decisions And we pray that you would protect the vulnerable and those who are weakest, that they would find their strength in you. And maybe in the stillness, have a moment of quiet prayer as you think of those who are um, on your heart this morning. Loving God, we hold before you in this quietness all the people and the situations that we have thought about. We pray for your comfort and your peace, your love and your joy to fill their hearts amidst the difficulty and sadness in their lives. And you, I pray that you would help us all to trust you to know you as our refuge and our strength. Amen. Amen.
As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you. Amen. Amen. And let's say the Lord's Prayer together. Our, Our Father in heaven, heaven hallowed be your name. Your, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us, give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So bless you all. Thank you for joining us and uh, pray that you will have a really good rest of day. And let's close with the words of the peace. So may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep all of our hearts and minds in the knowledge and the love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen.